beautiful, beautiful world. It is I, Corey from Unified Masters. And um, today, I wanted to just provide a little resource um, for free on my YouTube page uh, regarding um, how we can begin to dispel um, very electrically charged situations and triggers uh, that can end up creating a, um, a very charged energy in our field. So this can come up in many different ra ways. You know, when we, um, you know, encounter someone who, you know, triggers us, um, it can turn us into survival mode with the fight or flight, um, anger, depression, sadness, fear, all of those like lower frequency emotions that are just a part of the human experience right now, especially in the collective. Um, I wanted to provide like a, just a little cleansing and clearing to be able to uh, ground out our energy and to be able to just take a moment to cleanse those situations. We've noticed that lately, the more that you begin to disconnect from those old realities, um, if you are still, you know, contacting people from those old realities um, that are still involved in the fear, in the fight or flight, um, that still don't fully understand your path or your journey, at least what we've been encountering, what Samantha and I have been encountering, uh, sometimes they can start to um, dump their distortions on you or they can project their fears, they can project their insecurities, um, they can project their discord. And it's a very, you know, it's a part of the process. It's a part of, for us in the human condition, we don't know how much we're doing it and we don't know how much um, our communication and our energy affects situations. Um, and especially someone's individual life, how much it can take to be able to really cleanse the energy after, you know, a big electrically charged situation. Um, and these electrical charges too can happen with just watching media content. Um, you know, this, this morning I was sitting here, um, just a little story, brief story about how this can affect us before I go into the, the cleansing and the clearing was this morning I was doing my morning routine, getting up, I did my, 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 like my sun salutations, um, showing gratitude to uh, Gaia, gratitude to Mother Nature, um, the trees, uh, to the universe, um, showing gratitude to my body for being here, for supporting me. Um, and basically what had happened was, did my normal routine and I was just doing my morning, you know, YouTube checkup, which obviously, um, is something that we're having to disconnect from more is the internet and what happens. Well, I came upon a video, okay? Um, I came upon a video that is about exposing scammers, um, internet scammers. And, you know, it's one of those things that doesn't normally like pop up on my feed, but I was like, okay, I'm interested, whatever. I've, I'm, I'm basically kind of relaxing before I get to my morning routine and it's a part of um, something that I used to do. But it's about being mindful, though, of the content that we're watching. So I started to go into this video, and they started to expose these scammers and doing all these things. And I noticed that my adrenaline started to increase. You know, just right before this, I had some very highly charged light codes come through. So I was kind of getting charged with energy and already, like, getting pumped for the day. Which is um, nice, because after being down for, like, a week or two weeks, it felt good to get kind of, like... A bolt, uh, a surge to be able to uh, to get some stuff done, and I and I always learn to capitalize on those moments. So, anyways, I'm watching this, and I noticed that as they were unveiling more and more of these scammers and what they're doing, um, I was starting to feed into the drama. I was starting to get excited. There was an adrenaline rush that was coming, so I had to look within myself. Okay, and I'm sharing this as a moment of vulnerability, but um, and a moment of reflection, but to let people know how these kind of programs run and exist. So, you know, I got this adrenaline rush, okay, and I started to go into it and I recognized that this can really, moments like this can really throw off my entire reality because it really does put you into a state of fight or flight. Um, it really does begin to stress the adrenal glands and really bring stress to the kidneys that I was feeling. Um, and as a result of that, it really is feeding into an old narrative, you know. Um, a part of my job of deconstructing these systems as a, a point of angst because of how I felt the world had treated me because of my life situation and my survivor story and, you know, um, stepping out of homelessness. Uh, when I saw that there was problems in the system, I, I loved to be able to break them down. I loved being able to uh, deconstruct realities and, and tear them apart. Um, it was this like Tasmanian devil kind of side of me, which was like, come in, spin everything up and tear it down, which was necessary for the part of the process. But now I'm into the process of construction, not deconstruction. And I noticed that that narrative held an electrical charge. So I began to break it down. Why is this still running in me? You know, where can I give myself more excitement today? 
Where can I fill myself with things that are constructive? How can I begin to disconnect from the internet more? How can I be aware that the, there are videos like that, you know, available everywhere and content available everywhere that can really um, get you caught up in that old narrative and those old stories? So I wanted to share that because that was just like a moment of reflection of being able to go to really look at myself and go, okay, where am I still holding on to the fight? Where am I still holding on to that I need to, you know, put myself in a beautiful situation and feel like I need to tear it down for some reason? Um, where am I still holding that in, in my body? Um, and I began the process of cleansing it and clearing it. And so, you know, these triggers and these trigger moment situations sometimes aren't always just people. It could be events. It could be media that we watch. And at any point in time when we notice that the electrical charge starts to stick up in our field, it starts to get, you know, we get charged. We can become shaky. We become a little bit more aggressive. Um, we start, you know, on the other end of the spectrum, we can start to go into, you know, depression or really deep-seated fear from someone else's projection. It really is... A good practice tool to begin to cleanse and ground out that situation and making sure we're disconnecting from the charge of that situation um, we're letting go of the polarity and the dualistic field um, but we are also providing ourselves ample opportunity to reset our energy before we engage in our day or engage with other people because any of those remnants of the anger fear depression um, sadness um, you know whatever emotion is triggered from that when we begin to go engage with anyone after that without grounding our energy we're now actually continually putting that signal out okay so it's really important for us to be mindful of the energy that we are a consuming but we're also putting out after those situations so after almost seven minutes of discussion i wanted to go into a um just a little um a grounding technique um that's going to be provided here in order to just wash out that energy and wash out those energy streams. So you can refer back to this as many times as you'd like to be able to just um, allow the energy to cleanse from you as you are beginning the process of grounding and disconnecting from the charge of those situations. So I just want you to take a moment to remember all that you are. Okay. So we're just connecting in its highest vibrational form and amplifying our connections and purifying our connections. So what I want you to do is I want you to imagine that you've got this connection to the crystalline core of Mother Earth. And we just first want to thank her um, for assisting us in um, being able to wash away these energies, being able to transfigure them, being able to dissolve them. And I want you to imagine that there's this bright white light that is connecting to your field from the crystalline core of Mother Earth. And I want you to just take that charge wherever it's held in your body and I want you to just send it down to Gaia. And as we're sending it down, we're just going to begin to amplify the light from source and amplify our light from the crystalline core of Mother Earth. And just wash away and dissolve. So we're just going to begin grounding our energies now into that space. Cleansing. And we're just going to call on a stream of the high vibrational gold in its highest purest form to come down and to assist in the washing of these frequencies. We're turning us back to center now. We're going to begin to amplify the heart. Opening up the heart again. Opening up the center column. If your Merkaba is online, we're going to increase the toroidal field and increase um, the Merkaba spin. Reminding us that it's safe to fly, levitate, and float here on Earth. And while we ground, we also keep a higher narrative and a higher perspective. So we're giving ourselves the chance to levitate here and now. And just taking this moment to just reset the energy body. Reset the chakras, clear, cleanse, align, and balance. Come back into that spot of love. Come back into that spot of forgiveness. Forgiveness of self, forgiveness of others. If you're here and you want to go into a Ho'oponopono routine, it really does help, especially if there's uh, another individual that's involved in the situation. Or if there's a system um, or there's a group, there's any sort of entity, um, and I'm not speaking of in the dualistic construct, I'm speaking of anything, whether it's a group, a political system, an organization, um, a company, 
um, an individual, a pattern. Let's just send it love and gratitude. And then let's extend this gratitude to Mother Earth. Let's extend it to the stars. Let's extend this to the entire universe. And let's go ahead and extend this gratitude to the entire creation and to the creator itself. Whatever you choose to believe in, that is yours. Not being defined or held into any construct or any limiting belief of what it is to believe. It's whatever you choose to believe in within your heart, whether it's a frequency, um, whether it's you know the father, the mother, the god, the goddess, creator, universe, whatever it is for you. Sending a moment to, sending gratitude in this moment to the creation and to the creator and to all of creation. So what I want us to just step back now into that sovereign space of autonomy, freedom, and free will. Just holding our boundaries strong, being the living light here now, frequency and form. And then let's just make sure that we are disconnected from the energy of that, those situations and make sure that we're just closing any doors that we have open in our field to that. Let's just release the mind, release the mental body from what just occurred, release ourselves from the trigger. And just making sure that we are any, you know, dark void spaces in the mind or any miasmatic buildup that we're just sending um, the purest, highest form of golden light into those areas to just begin to come back into our crystalline nature, coming back into our galactic nature, coming back into our pure love, coming back to our starseed origins, coming back to our, our angelic self, coming back to our elemental self, remembering all that we are in this now moment. Then I want you to just take a moment to breathe in these energies. Beautiful. So now I want you to just come back to all that you are. Begin to come back to this present moment. Begin to just welcome yourself back to this now moment. So I'm going to disconnect my energies from that and just let that wash through. So, um, yeah, it's really important uh, during these times, you know, when we have these moments uh, to be able to go and to reset our energy um, and to reset ourselves. I've discussed this many times before, um, but I felt it was really um, imperative to what's happening right now and things that we're encountering and we're also hearing other people are encountering too. Um, look at this beautiful color here. So, um, remember, take some time out for yourself. Um, be easy and gentle with yourself. And, you know, um, really be mindful, too, of, you know, how we can begin to shift easily um, these patterns. And when you feel these triggers come up, how can we let them go quicker and quicker and quicker? How can we provide ourselves ample opportunity to reset so then when we go about day our day we're not carrying that distortion into what we're doing or projecting that onto other people especially being mindful of communications with others um you know it's really important that we that we can um do what we can towards not continually feel fueling those old narratives in that old world um and it really does assist in how we show up and how we assist other people so Anyways, that's all I've got, guys. I uh, just wanted to come on and make that for you um, and just tell a little bit of my story of something that happened today with just simply watching a video and how it's really fueling an old narrative. And so I wanted to show that as kind of like a little bit of like a, a, a mini breakdown of what you can do when you find yourself in those situations. Ask yourself, where is this held in my body? Where am I holding on to this story? How can I begin to allow that narrative to shift? How can I cleanse myself today? Ask the soul, ask your guidance. If you don't hear the soul and you hear your guidance more, Ask your guidance, you know. Um, also, there's a really good uh, narrative shifting um, piece that I have on Patreon. So if you really appreciate content like this and you want to be a supporter, um, it would be much appreciated. You can head over to patreon.com forward slash unified masters and sign up. Um, there's also a, a link for, um, there's two different tiers. So there's just one basic tier that's just content. And then there's content plus group access where um, you can get access to Tuesdays with Corey, which is still going on. Uh, it's gonna be going on tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, so still excited to be doing that and watching that group build. 
um, and as I'm building up, um, I'm very much excited to see um, how people show up and how they show up in their, their true, authentic, loving form. Um, and yeah, we're just in the middle of reformatting some things as well with that group. So um, more to come with that, more to be revealed. Enough out of me. I love you all unconditionally. Much love and respect to all of you out there. I'm just going to make sure that I'm closing all back doors and disconnecting again from the energy of that. Um, and let just let this sit here and let it be provided as a resource for you to be able to come back to and to learn how to build your own practice, to be able to cleanse your triggers, to be able to reset, you know, take, take at least, you know, two to three minutes to be able to come back to center. Even if you have to just go to the bathroom and excuse yourself from a situation, um, you're not running from, um, rem remind yourself of that as you are, you know, disconnecting from the triggers and you're learning to take care of yourself, um, and learning to not allow certain things into your reality. It's okay to walk away. Um, just be mindful. Am I running away? Um, or am I setting up a healthy boundary for myself so I can be able to come back in my in my purest form? And you know, sometimes you might need to take a few days or a few weeks away from a certain individual when those triggers occur, so you can reset, work through the programming, and then you know, get back to it. And so sometimes it's okay to not respond right away. Sometimes it's okay to um, hold space for yourself while you cleanse and clear those things. So be mindful of that and, and be okay with not having to just immediately respond or react to the situation. You know, we always want to become non-reactionary. We want to become neutral, you know, really harnessing the neutral point observer. So just be mindful of that, that and give yourself that okay. If, you know, you have an interaction with someone and you need to take a week or two weeks or a couple months or even a couple of years away from someone, it's okay. Allow yourself the opportunity to expand and to grow and to work through those triggers to work through those moments so you can come back um, in your highest version of you. So that's all I got, guys. Much love and respect to all of you out there, and I will see you soon.